So let's give ourselves a little bit more background by reading through the introduction. So the learning memory field has long recognized the importance of transcriptional regulation during memory formation. What's different in this paper is that the authors are talking about methylation of DNA from the transfer bases. Epigenetic mechanisms are essential to normal development as they provide cellular memory necessary for perpetuating and correcting your cellular phenotype. And that's sort of what I alluded to earlier in my naive understanding of methylation and that it determines the uh, cell type. So is a skin cell, you know, why is a skin cell a skin cell? Why is a muscle cell a muscle cell? They differentially express genes and are part of what's controlling that gene expression in a permanent manner is DNA methylation. And again, this paper is different because DNA methylation is uh, part of the transient memory formation process, let's say. So DNA methylation, the DNA is tightly packaged in DNA protein complexes known as chromatin. The histones involved here actually found uh, Alex's suggested paper to be uh, very helpful. So she's mentioned already that um, there's this review article. And if you uh, check that out, you'll see a number of helpful figures. Uh, I like this figure in particular just because it helps me visualize what the histones are and how that relates to DNA methylation. I'd, I'd recommend reading this uh, article just as uh, Alex helpfully suggests. So thank you very much, Alex, for participating. I appreciate your contributions. So let's just jump back to the introduction here of the paper. Recent evidence indicates the regulation of chromatin structure serves as an important control mechanism in the associated transcription regulation. In the current study, they explored the potential role of another epigenetic mechanism. So it says this, there's this cytosine methylation. The cytosine is a DNA base. DNA methylation has been studied extensively in development as an example of considered a static process, which is again my naive understanding uh, to control cell type or cell fate. And DNA methyltransferase expression is greatly diminished once terminal differentiation has occurred. So one may not expect DNA methyltransferases to play much role in anything in an adult organism, but this paper suggests otherwise. So that's one of the reasons this paper interesting. So to begin investigating the potential role for DNA methyltransferases in the adult central nervous system, the authors examined a provocative possibility contrary to the prevailing model, and uh, sure enough, they show that, uh, in the hippocampus. So I'm going to jump ahead a little bit uh, to figure nine, which talks a little bit more on a cellular level what's going on. So you have an NMDA receptor, this is a biological pathway, it's bound, it interacts with this, this pathway of other proteins like uh, PKC or protein kinase C, RAF, NEC, ERK, MINHU. So this is sort of a cartoon of the outside of the cell. I believe this would be the nucleus. ERK is in here, it interacts with a few other partners. Some, something happens in the cell and there are two uh, processes in the biology that are important for long-term memory in this paper, LT and LT. One is the DNA methyltransferases um, in methylating the negative memory regulators or suppressing the negative memory regulators like PP1. And that will uh, lower the repression and so increase uh, the, the possibility of forming long-term memories. And demethylases are also an important player in this. Uh, so we will be demethylating positive memory regulators like VRIN, as we talked about a little bit earlier in the abstract. And by demethylating or activating the, these memory regulators, uh, it's been argued that it, presumably there's more uh, possibility for forming memories. So very loosely speaking here, forming long-term memories, two different processes and their relationship to uh, more well-studied biological pathways.